Hello, today I'm going to talk about something new I've discovered through DistroWatch, but it's a Linux distribution I've never heard of, and the website for it is really interesting. It is called S Desk Linux, S as in Sam, and then the word Desk Linux. And it's, it's from a website called stevestudios.ca, so in Canada, if you don't know the abbreviation for CA. <laughs> um, but it's called S Desk Linux is the distribution that Steve offers. And it's really interesting, and here's why. So I'm on their website, and it talks about different products that he offers. Uh, S Desk Linux, Blue, which is a programming language, it's a cross-compiling, procedural, statically typed, type-inferred, cross-platform, portable, memory-safe, small and reliable, special-purpose programming language with fast and efficient compiler. It has high-level, efficient syntax designed for max readability, and it can compile to four popular languages by default, including Hax, H-A-X-E, I'm not familiar with that, C++, I am familiar with, Groovy, JavaScript, and it allows you to create your own language backends as well. So that's something he offers. You can buy this from him, this programming language. Uh, and, and also Swirl, S-W-I-R-L. It's a browser, and it's a lightweight, powerful, fast, and beautiful browser that excels in simplicity, privacy, smoothness, and more. So this operating system, SDesk, comes bundled with Swirl as the browser, so that's what I'm reading about on the website. So I went ahead and downloaded it. I'm like, I got to check this out. And it's based on GNOME 45, I believe. And the operating system SDesk is. And Wayland. So I, I had to try it. It just looks super interesting. So here we are at the desktop. I've logged in. And we could go and see that it uses Octopi as the package manager. So I already ran that and installed the default updates. There were like 25 in it literally installed them in a few seconds and I'm already up and running. So I didn't check out the rest of the operating system and we're going to do that now. We click on the show apps button. It's down here at the bottom left. It's kind of cool. It's where the windows, you know, start button would be, right? And you can see here that it's not super bloated with apps, I guess. It's just, it's got the essentials. Um, I wouldn't say it has a ton. It's got contacts, weather, clocks, Maps. Let's see if it's using, I think it's open maps, I'm assuming. Let's zoom in. Everything's really snappy and fast. And I think it did say something about that on the website. Let's try out the window snapping that talks about. Works flawlessly. Okay. Let's zoom into Michigan. This is where the Lions did not win. We're going to go down here. And, ah, oh, crap. That's a bummer. But um, we're going to, sorry, I've got to stay on the task here. Um, you can see all the cities. Okay, cool. This Maps app works. It's a free version. That's not Google Maps, which I kind of like. And we're going to go to Show Apps. We got boxes. You can run virtual machines. We got the LibreOffice suite. Hardware local. Let's check out what that is. This icon looks like it didn't get a... Uh, oh, cool. Okay. Talks about some stuff I don't understand. You know, hardware PCI addresses that I'm never going to... Yeah, Okay. Probably not going to use that, but that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. LibreOffice Math. Yep, okay, we got the rest of the apps. Software Token. Wait, what is that? Let's try that. Okay, I do not know what that is, but I could probably read about it. And the cool thing is he offers support on his site. You can email him. And it's really cool. His website looks awesome. It's stevestudios.ca. So Steve, like the name Steve, studios.ca. And then there's like a section for Swift, uh, or Swirl, I mean, uh, Blue and SDesk. And then there's a support section where you can get support. And it looks like he does that via email, um, as far as the website makes it uh, appear. So it talks about, you know, it's got a couple cool sections on the website. It talks about how SDesk boots and performs faster than Windows 11. I did boot it. It did boot it faster than Windows 11. And... That's not like any of the, the you know, behind the scenes finagling that Windows 7, Windows 11 does where it loads stuff in the back background, like prefetches it or whatever. It just loads fast. Like when I start this up and I log in, everything's there and it's, it's instant. So that's cool. And it retains a polished user interface while it's doing that, it says. 
and it's got the you know favorite Windows 11 features such as native window snapping, which you just saw, a system tray, and right up here we got Wi-Fi. I connected it by Wi-Fi, no problem. So far, everything's working out of the box. It's got the Geary email client. That's a great one. Uh, music. Let's see what they're using for the music player. Welcome to music. Okay, cool. So it's just called music. That's easy to remember. Files. Okay, I like the theming. It's really simple, but just fast. And let's check out the one I've been waiting for, and that's the Swirl browser. Have not gone to any websites yet. I want to see how fast this browser can load a website. So use this DuckDuckGo, it looks like, uh, by default. It's kind of weird. I mean, a little off-putting for me at first with that little loading thing. I don't know why it was lo what it was loading, but... I mean, this is one person. This is a website that has a, a lot of amazing things. So I can't be complaining. Let's go to google.com. Did I do it right? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Oh, wait, let me, let me double click in here again. Google.com. Oh, so it just automatically searches in there. Okay, let's try this. Let's go to tools and see if this browser has options. Or, uh, oh, options. That would make sense. Open the settings menu. Oh, cool. You can just select it. That's easy. You can add your own search engine. This is definitely interesting. Okay, so let's go to google.com or let's just search for something. Search. Is it going to take me to Google now? What is going on? I'm so confused. Google.com. There we go. Let's just see how far. Fast it loads and test. Make sure my audio is working. This browser is fast. Very cool. Okay, let's go to. I don't want to pull up YouTube and get copyright strike. Let's go to. Uh, how about. Uh, b -b 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 ZD, a website nobody goes to or that I haven't gone to. Wow, this loads really quick. This browser loads fast, and it's really impressive that this is not Chromium or Firefox based. It's just its own thing. I might have to keep trying out this a little more. Does it have? Oh, <laughs> there's a plus sign here. Okay, I don't know what that's for, but I know how to get to websites, and that's pretty cool. We've done it for decades, right? Let's go to, let's try Blues News, a website from the 90s I used to go to for video game stuff. Oh, yes, this is so cool. Can I zoom in? I can zoom in. It's smooth. What? This is so weird. It's weird that this is working so well. Okay, uh, let's go to a link in here. Let's just click it. Fast. It's very fast. I'm not amazed by simple things, I promise. This is amazing that somebody made this. Nice work, Steve. This is cool. Okay, let's try text editor. So fast. All right, let's try... Okay, it's got a VNC server, so you can remote into it. That's cool. Uh, let's go to manage printing and just see how easy it is to add a printer. So it's got the web interface. So it's a little web server running for cups. Okay, cool. Is there anything that's not web server based? So I don't have to run through a wizard or anything. Um, let's go back down here. And go to print settings. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to mess with that. So printing, I don't know too much about here yet. Um, I could mess with this later. I have a brother printer and a Dell printer. I could, you know, it might take a little bit of tweaking to get them to work. So I'm not going to exactly go mess with that now. But this is really cool. I like that it ha that Steve has his own programming language. I think that's really cool. One thing I didn't see, it says it can run many games, like including Valve's game, uh, Steam, Valve's game uh, platform, Steam, which obviously you can just install that. But um, I use the three finger gesture for GNOME and it works. So I can just like swipe up. It's just like running Fedora, but feels more lean to me. I like that. And it's not running um, D 
DNF. It's it's running, you know, it's not Fedora. It's it's uh, what do you call it? <sighs> Arch. So this is really cool because it's running Octopi here. Let's 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 open up Octopi and see if I can find any things that I might want to install, like Brave browser. Can we find Brave? No, I have to go to Brave site. So what we do is we would go here, Brave browser, and well, we could go to Google. Let's see. There we go. I'm having a little bit of trouble with the browser off the bat, but that's fine. So this is something I would download regardless. I'm going to go here. I can't get this out of the way. Let's see. Can I hit escape? No. Okay, whatever. Let's go download Brave. And we're going to go to... Uh, is there one for Arch? Debian, Ubuntu, Mint... Fedora, Rocky, Red Hat, Enterprise Linux, OpenSUSE, Snap. Ooh, might have to uh, might have to find out how to install this in Arch, uh, or enable some repositories that allow it. Let's see, unofficial. Here we go. Arch, yay! Let's try yay and see if it, this is an Arch. Arch though, this is a simplified Arch for for people like me that don't know the ins and outs of it. So let's see if this has something like yay installed as the Arch helper. I know enough to break my system, okay? Just know that. Control shift V. Okay, it doesn't have yay installed. Um sudo octopi. <laughs> it's I don't know. SYU. I don't know. Um let's try. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so. Let's try this. Let's go back to Octopi. And we're going to see about the... Uh, let's go to... Get latest distro news. Let's go to options. There we go. Do not use R. Yeah, it doesn't recommend that. Okay, okay. Anything else we can do? Okay. Well, don't want to break anything. So let's go look for Obsidian. Oh my gosh, it has Obsidian. Awesome. So we're going to install that and see how fast it goes. It's going to be a flat pack, I believe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's... Okay. Let's give it a shot. I don't know why that pop-up box looks so much more archaic than the rest of the operating system. But anyway, my gosh, this operating system is fast. It's like so fast. Like it's installing Obsidian faster than I've seen it installed on other distros. Like there it is. It's freaking ready to run. I mean, my gosh, this is crazy. That is fast. Okay, let's look up uh, Firefox. Why, why not? Okay, we're going to install Firefox. Go to OK, hit the checkbox, hit Yes, Enter, see how fast it goes. Oh my God, yeah, it's so fast, man. That's so freaking fast. There it is. I, this is just incredible. Okay, so I'm impressed. This is really neat. I like that he has his own browser. I think that's awesome. I mean, I would support a project like this. This is really cool. I'm going to keep using it and mess around with it some more. I did install this on my personal laptop alongside Windows 11. So that it got a space on my laptop because I was so interested in reading about how it's how like what it offers and how unique it is. It's and it's and that's really impressive. So I recommend checking it out. If it looks interesting to you, I hope I saved you some time and maybe you'll want to check it out now. Thanks for watching.